Okay, in this video, let's take a look of the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of tangent x. This right here is actually improper because if you put pi over 2 into x, tangent of pi over 2 is not defined. You actually have a vertical asymptote. That's why it's improper. And let me show you guys a picture right here. The graph of tangent x, of course, it looks like this. And then you do have that vertical asymptote when you have x being pi over 2. Well, again, this is improper because you have a vertical asymptote at x equals pi over 2. And this integral is trying to calculate the area from 0 to pi over 2. We might still end up with a finite value though. I don't know yet. We have to do the work. And now here we do it. So pi over 2 is a trouble place. We'll change that to limit. And I will write down the LIM. If you put on pi over 2, you just have to make sure pi over 2 minus. But you know, let's do a limit. And it's on um, the top right here, so I'll put on b. Goes to technically pi over 2 with a minus because you are approaching pi over 2 from the left hand side. So b approaching pi over 2 minus. And you have to look at this right here being the integral from 0 to pi over 2. But we say, that's the b is approaching to pi over 2 minus. And then you have the tangent x, dx, and close this integral. And now we just have to integrate tangent x, plug in b, plug in 0, and then take the limit. All right, let's see. Here we have the limit as b going to pi over 2 minus. Integrating tangent, you get natural log of secant. And let me just put that down right here for you guys. And then we plug in, plug in. So we have the 0 to b like this. And technically, you don't need absolute value because this and that will be positive anyway. Right? When you plug in b, when you plug in 0, it will be positive. But if you have the absolute value, it's not wrong. So it doesn't matter. The limit as b going to pi over 2 minus Okay, put down b, put down 0. So first you have natural log absolute value, secant b absolute value, and then you subtract natural log absolute value of secant 0. Close that, close that, right? Okay, secant 0 is the same as 1 over cosine 0. Cosine 0 is 1. So 1 over 1 is 1. So this is 1, right? So you are talking about natural log of 1, which is going to be 0 altogether, right? Natural log of 1. So this is just going to be 0. Well, here is the deal. If you put pi over 2 in here, secant of pi over 2 is undefined. So you have to do it carefully. That's why we say it's pi over 2 minus. So we see for the secant, right here is 1 over cosine. Therefore, this right here becomes 1 over cosine and then again b is approaching pi over 2 minus like this right now we know cosine of pi over 2 is 0 we're going to look at cosine of pi over 2 minus what does that mean well let's look at the unit circle real quick so on the unit circle of course this is 0 this is where the pi over 2 is and remember on the unit circle Cosine is the x value, so if you are right here, of course cosine is 0. Cosine of power 2 with a minus means that the angle is slightly less than power 2. So the angle is like 89.9999 degrees, for example. So you're right here. So it's actually a positive x value, but the x value right here is 0. So in fact, this right here is 0 plus. So I will just write this down. This is 1 over 0 plus. In another word, this is going to be positive infinity. So all in all, you will see you have to deal with natural log of positive infinity. Right? 1 over 0 plus is positive infinity. And now the final question is natural log of infinity minus this 0. This is infinity minus 0. So you get infinity. Of course, the final conclusion is that that integral die. Burgess. Okay. And that's it.